Welcome to 13 Projects of Halloween. We are kicking it off with a classic. Now, witch hats aren't too complicated to stitch together. The basis is a cone attached to like a flat circular brim. For this version, we're keeping it pretty simple. I've got some black cotton, some pre-cut iron-on interfacing, which I think is somewhere between medium and lightweight, and I've got some wire as well to put in the brim. This pattern is a free digital download, so if you are interested in following along, you can click on the link in the description. So without further ado, let's jump on in. Trace and cut out all of your pattern pieces, making sure to add seam allowance to all but the iron-on interfacing. Stitch together your cone, cone lining, and outer edge of the brim. Cut notches into your inner brim and the lower edge of your cone to help with easing the two parts of your hat together. I also trimmed the outer brim seam allowance with pinking shears to help it lay neatly when pressed. For a sharp point, trim back the seam allowance on the tip of your lining and main cone pieces. Ease the brim and cone pieces together, only pinning the main fabric cone and the upper brim. You don't actually need to have your lining in your cone at this point, but I didn't realize that until after I spent five minutes maneuvering around it. And stitch together. Insert your wire between your two brim pieces, pinning to secure before top stitching into place. Press the seam allowance up on your cone lining and then slide it into place matching your back seams. Hand stitch into place, or alternatively, you can do this on your machine if you're going to put a ribbon around your hat base.
Now that we have got our base witch hat down, we can start the decorating process. I've got some feathers and little trinkety things that I've picked up from the op shops over the years here, and then some raspberries down here, as well as just some florist's wire, which I might use to make little like curly Q spirals. I'm not entirely sure. I know I want to use the mushrooms for something. Other than that, I am not entirely sure what we're going to end up with, so I'm going in blind. <laughs> so let's just start putting things together and see where it takes us. This came together ridiculously fast, especially the decorating. I didn't think that it was going to go as smoothly as it did, but the brambles all kind of worked together and it was giving me a really cute vibe. So I went with it and I love this little dangly buddy. He's so cute. I've previously used this pattern um, actually for a gift for one of my friends. The bramble crown does mean that it's a little bit tighter on my head, so normally there's a bit more give, so this is small size. Um, but you can easily make it larger by extending the base of the cone and then making sure that your opening is big enough to account for the extended cone size. You can find the link in the description to download this free pattern. I would love to see what you make, so I'm sure I will be smart and I will put a hashtag with this so that I can see what you post on Instagram. And I would love to see if anyone makes any of these 13 projects. If you like this video, please subscribe and hit the notification bell in order to join in the rest of the spooky fun. And I will see you soon for project number two. Bye.